Hello, welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. I was gonna apologize for any gross slurping noises, but you know what, I'll just set my can of energy drink aside so you don't have to hear any gross noises. Oh look, we've got our baseball card, and our crowbar, our journal page, we've got sandwich, we have a stew. We're living the life. Do we want to eat the sandwich? Yay! Oh, no more. Okay, and we've got two of those. I think we should continue collecting them and at least hold on to them. What? Oh, we need to find somewhere to sleep. Right. Because sleep is a thing we will need. Now, where is somewhere that we can sleep where we're not likely to get murdered? Is the convenience store open? Oh, hello convenience store, what are you selling? How you doing? Oh. Well, we don't need that. Is that the price? Two dollars. Two dollars. What? Why would, why would they be two dollars? That makes no sense. I wanna buy these! Uh, why would we want any of these things, honestly? Just, I mean, this is probably a stupid idea, but let's get two of those. Okay. Thank you. Um, what is the inventory button? Oh, items. Uh, scratch card. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Damn it, nothing. Yes. What did I win? Where do I take it? How does this work? Excuse me, sir. Where do I take my scratch card? Scratch card. Scratch card? Ah. Uh, pistachio? Are those Pringle cans? But where do I take my scratch card? Scratch card? Scratch card? Scratch card? Scratch card. One, one, what? Uh, oh, one. <laughs> Zero dollars. Oh, thirteen dollars. You know, we'll leave the thirteen dollars in there. But where do I take my scratch card, sir? Can you tell me where to take my scratch card? Because I got a winning scratch card and I do not know where to take it. Sir. Hello, I have a winning scratch card. Can you tell me where to take that? Take a look around. I will take a look around. Yarn ball. Yarn ball. What a lovely yarn ball. I want it. We need this though. What is- oh, fancy. I want the yarn ball. Yarn ball, a yarn ball. That's my yarn ball? Do I want to sell my crowbar? My, I think I should hold on to my crowbar. What is this? Oh, that's cool! Do I have money? Oh! I want more of those! Oh born. What is this? Insert one in. I want six dollars! No. That was useless. Who needs six dollars? Not me. <laughs> well, okay, I do. That, that pays me back for the card. <laughs> for the single scratch card and a little bit more. Oh, who's that cute blonde? Or is that a crazy old lady? I'll punch you all over and steal your bread. I don't have any bread. I am too poor for bread. Can I do some fishing? Throw line. How does this work? How do I fish? What do I do? Oh, that's fancy. I don't have to do anything. I just have to click the buttons. <laughs> you could argue that with any game, really. But it's easier than Minecraft, which is, you know, great. You can probably hear all my things on the screen rattling. Why do I have to crepe so many things around the screen? But yay, we're going fishing, we're going fishing, we're going fishing. Big Bertha. What can we catch now? 
We need to go find a beat still. Okay, so I ended up just speeding up through the rest of that because who really wants to watch me fish for that long? There's a hole in the fence. I think. That might be a hole in the fence, I don't know. Do I want to go to the grocery store? Can I sell my fish? Wait, do I want to sell my fish? Am I hungry? Um, wait. No, I'm not hungry. Fish. Do I want to sell my fish? I can sell that lake crab. Okay. Okay. Where am I? Over there. Butcher, will you buy my fish? Is that how this works? <laughs> no. Well, I can't afford that. But thank you for, um, nothing. <laughs> I go back to the other shop. Can I sell my fish at the pub? Dog. Wait a second. Do I go get dog food for the dog? Is that a thing? Is the pawn shop still open? Is it? Yes, it is. Awesome. Buy my fish. Buy my fish. I can't sell my fish. Rude. I mean, that's better than no money. Oh, no, I'm going to hold on to my sandwich. And that is my Zach fella. Oh, wait, dog food. No, not something I can get here. Where can I get dog food? Dog food. Grocery store, probably. Or did I see the dog food at the convenience store? Oh, gosh. Hello, sir. I must request... One, one dog food. One dog food. I must request one dog food. Because there's a dog and he is hungry. And I don't know how long he's been hungry for. But you know what? I think he deserves to be, to have his, his face fed. Woof, woof. Hey there, little doggy. How you doing, girl? I bought you some food. Woof. A rude girl. Give dog food. Munch, munch, munch. Dog is now my friend. He dropped something. Pick it up. The locket. <gasps> I got its locket. Does this mean I can now find, 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 uh, brain? No? Well, I need to find somewhere to sleep anyway. Um, sir, can we share? Some people say sleeping under the stars is good for the soul. Those people usually don't park next to dumpsters, do they? Huh, creepy old man. Where well, is a mattress that I can sleep on? There was one. Hello, sir. Hey, girl, what's new? It's been a long day, Bellinger. I'm beat and heading to bed wherever that may be this evening. Hey, if you can't get back into your apartment, I'm sure you can... Yeah, I know. Oh, I see. Gas leak. Well, I'm gonna... Yeah. Why aren't I writing a journal page? Because I have journal pages, but I'm not writing in them. I would like to write in a journal page. And why is the screen black? Oh. Bedroom. 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 That doesn't look big enough for two people. I mean, that doesn't even look big enough for th me and three cats. <laughs> because, you know, I have to share my bed with three cats because that's a thing. Typewriter. Ooh, looks like someone left money for me. <laughs> no, they didn't. Go out the door. Craven, is that you? I'm out on the balcony. Oh. We're going out the door. 
Well, look who's an early riser this morning. Are you okay? Did you sleep alright? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I'd sleep better if you didn't set your alarm so damned early. Aw, <laughs> oh, grumpy pants, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not even that early. Most people in the world get up before noon. You know, so they can go to work. Ugh, don't start on me already. Your dad already gave me an earful last night. I'll relax, Raven. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Dad's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon, don't stress out. Right, and once it does, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown and start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. I know, me too. What else can we do? Just relax. Take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. You're right, I'm ready for this. Everything is going to work out just fine. One day we'll look back on this and laugh. That's the spirit. Now give me a kiss before you get coffee breath. Smooch, smooch. There's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. I love you too. <laughs> hallway. Hallway, hallway, hallway. Going up the hallway. Gonna go down the stairs. Hello! Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Raven. Do you know what happened to the sausages I left in here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Uh... I should be honest. I, my, my character, Raven, probably ate them. Yeah, I ate them yesterday. I'm sorry. You just couldn't save any for me, could you? Aw, I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? It's a military base, Haven. I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Once we figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings at the poles are so strange lately, I'll be home in no time. Do me a favour and help out, Hilly. I don't want to thaw her out in a messy house. Are you sure you're up for Antarctica? I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Look, don't worry so much. I want to do this. Gotta show them I'm worth the expense, right? You just keep your head in that book of yours. I really hope that contract you've been waiting on will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, Raven. There is a piece of fur on my screen. I moved it. Hilly, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a second. I gotta go, Hilly. You're waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Oh no! Wait, I'm here. He left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, Hilly. Your dad's a tough son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh well, I gotta get to work before I'm late. You be good, my brilliant little rider. <laughs> you just go and have a good day at work. I love you. I love you too. Muchy muchy. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. Wow. All alone in this house. Whatever will... Oh. Mail time. Uh, what's the song? I, I don't know the Blue's Clues song. How can I have forgotten the Blue's Clues song? Who just forgets the Blue's Clues song? Pizza Lamar. Oh, pizza. I want pizza now. Mmm, San Verdano pizza. I want pizza. This is it. The contract. Sign it. Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here. Yeah, we've been downstairs the whole time. Did we read it? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you explained. It's just that we're sort of a team, you know. Two halves of a whole, two peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand, Raven. Send your partner, but the facts are the guys upstairs only like your pieces. Times are getting tough, too. You know, business isn't what it, ain't what it used to be. They just don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we've sent it. Always will. We'll fund you for the next six months so you can finish what you started, then we go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great, then take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once those papers are signed. 
then I get the wife off my back and we can go for a celebratory drink. <laughs> I'm buying. That sounds... Alright. Alright, I'll wait for your call. Speak with you soon, Raven. Sign them. It's sad, but like, we gotta, we gotta do the thing. We gotta take chances. This is everything I ever wanted, right? Sign it. And now call your, call, call your girlfriend. I'm sorry, Sam. Call your girlfriend. Oh. We didn't get to call her. Why not? I wanted to call her. Let's go find out about the dog. Ugh, far from reality though. I wonder what she's doing now. Elbow. I'm going to start writing in my journal again. You completed a journal page. Yay! At least maybe the mail's here? Oh, mail. Oh, sorry fella, I don't have your money. Whoa, deadbeat. You look even more like shit than normal. The curbside nap teach you to pay your bills yet? I'm just here to get my mail and the stuff out of my apartment and then I'm gone. Yeah, you're right. You still owe me for last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those really old clothes and the appliances for a while. I know a guy who's willing to pay top dollar for all those panties you never got around to washing. Yucky. Well, I mean, if it pays off my debt, then... <laughs> no, it's still yucky. Ugh, that's too gross. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. No, who am I kidding? A deadbeat like you paying rent? Don't make me laugh. Oh yeah, before I forget, when I was in there cleaning the place up for showings, I came across something I think you probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind you of the days before your life turned to absolute shit. <laughs> Good luck, deadbeat. I'm not gonna miss that guy. What'd he give me? Well, let's see what's inside the mail today. A wedding invitation? A wedding invitation? What? Oh, er, what is this, Hilly? You're without me not even a year and you're already moved on. More than that, you're getting married? And you're invited? Your ex? It's at the end of the month? Jesus Christ, Hilly. No, I can't get angry. I can't get upset. We broke up. She can do whatever she wants. Why the hell would you invite me, though? To San Fredano, no less. I love the place, but goddamn, that's cold. Are you testing me? What do you want? Well, at least my check's finally here. I could do with some extra cash about now. You open the letter from Larry. You receive your publisher check. 250. This thing was supposed to be thousands. Something's gone really, really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. You copied down Larry's phone number. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I'll be able to get to her in time before the wedding. But what is our plan? Why are we going to this wedding? What do we want to do there? Do we just want to... Dog! Hello, hello? Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What happened? Hey, Raven. I've been expecting your call. 250? How the hell can I live off that? Why haven't you got the rest of my money, Larry? You know that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you for as long as you produced us a book? That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on, I'm almost done, I promised. Just give me another week. We did that, like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you are a bad pick. I made a mistake and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in an alleyway last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that, Raven. You understand that this is business, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you that check you're holding now, Raven. There's nothing left for you. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Fredano. San Fredano? What the hell are you going to do all the way across the country? Hilly's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss her, huh? Alright, fine, I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. 
but you got to make this count. All right, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come to meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Verdano and I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours, the one you write in every night before you go to bed. At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's gonna lose her shit if I lose this job, and you already owe me a plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Can't wait to write about all our nights sleeping on mattresses outside. Great, then we've got a deal. Except one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it, do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang out. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over at the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers, and we go way back, so any recommendation I give is golden. Hirung Ad Agency is used, used to do our marketing, but I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days dog with 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 oh I was following you but you're following me is this Do oh that's sad no no we're not going to give them the dog. Where's your, where's your owner, doggy? Woof. Where's your owner, doggy? There's a rat here. Where's the doggy's owner? Where are some places we can go? Coffee shop? Move. Thank you. Hi, do you know anything about a dog, sir? Hey there, we just put a fresh pot on. Can I get you a coffee or something else? Remember, every cup's got a cu chance to win a prize. What's the prize? Another cup of coffee? Of course. I would like to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> I got a cup of coffee. Um, what else do you got? Something else. Ugh, plain donuts. Let's see where. Why am I yawning? Oh, fancy. But I can't sell my fish to you either, so that's boring. Whew. Drink it. You're warmer already. Drink nothing. Better luck next time. Should we eat our fish raw? Oh. How many carps do I have? So many carps. So many carps. But where is the dog's mother? Where is the dog's mother? Or father? Maybe the dog has a father, I don't know. Where can I find that... Rewards. <gasps> is that the dog? It's got brown. Can I call the dog owner about the dog? How do I do that? Dog? Are you the dog? You have to be the dog. Um. Yay. I'm calling your parent, dog. Hello? Hello? Hey there, my name is Raven. I have some information regarding your lost dog. Oh my, oh my. Please tell me, have you found my little ladybird? Well, since I picked her up her dog locket, the little scamp has been randomly showing up and following me around. Oh my god, oh my god, you found Ladybird? This is fantastic news, please put her on the line. Er, look, I'm not going to put your dog on the phone. What I can do is bring her back to you. Where can we meet? How about we meet at the Krusty Kreme down on Main Street? That's where we are just were. Sure, sounds like a good place to meet. I will go there now. Do they allow dogs inside? Seems like everywhere I go is anti-dog. Oh yes, of course I do. Krusty Kreme is the first 100% dog-friendly donut shop. Ladybird and I quite enjoy their dirty mackerel and cheese sandwiches. 
Cheese is bad for dogs. Why am I not surprised by that statement? This dog freaks out at the mere mention of mackerel. Okay, hope to see you soon. Please hurry and thanks again for finding my little ladybird. Come on, ladybird! Woof! Come on, ladybird, 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 please! I probably don't have to go slowly for the dog. Because, you know, we'll go through the door and the dog will magically appear and it will be lovely. See, there it is. I assume you're the crazy dog lady I spoke with on the phone. What? No, I'm not crazy. But you're cute. <laughs> it's the crabby old people who hate dogs that are the crazy ones. Do you have my ladybird? She's right there. I do indeed. Quite the loyal pup as long as you have the scent of mackerel on you. Oh yay, hello my little ladybird. How's Mama's girl? So about that reward? Oh yes, of course, how could I forget? Please accept this humble offer of my gratitude. Oh! Crazy dog lady, you're the best. Woof! You are the best. You are the best. You are the best. <laughs> how do I do the thing with the... With the... I don't know. I've got the I've got the, 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 the thing in my thing. Completed page. Save the what? Oh, how he's weeding thing. Advanced check. Partners in Love is the name of the book. It's a dreadful book name. This journal thing is probably way better than whatever that book was gonna be. Is there a bank I can go to? What is this place? Cookies. Cookies? Cookies? Is there a bank? Bank? Bank, 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 bank. Grocery store. Empire pub. Where do I take checks? Are you a bank? Oh, convenient. Hello. Give me the assistance. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to Nations Bank. How may I help you today? I'd like to deposit this check. Sure, that will be no problem. Can I have your first name and PIN, please? First name Raven, PIN. Okay, give me a moment to pull up your account information. Ah, yes, here you are. Is there a problem? Not at all. I'll just need you to answer your top secret security question for me and I can go ahead and make that deposit for you. Wait, I need a security question to deposit money? The security question is in place for your protection, ma'am. The question is, what did you always dream of being when you were a child? Oh, it's not even like multiple choice. It's like all of these things. <laughs> Let's go with the lame one. Raven, when she was younger, she always dreamed of being happy. <laughs> what? Happy? Yeah, I figured happy would be easiest to remember. It's no problem at all. To each their own, I say. Your money has been deposited. You can withdraw it whenever you like from any of our conveniently located ATMs. I'm gonna do that right no I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it I would probably go and buy more dog food or buy something really stupid like a ball of yarn because I think I've proven in this game that I go and buy balls of yarn I think I'm actually gonna end the video now and I'm going to fish until the until the until the pond is empty and then we will do something else I guess it'll be the start of the next video but we'll get fish between the videos so then i don't have to go through the effort of editing the fishing part out so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video which will be on thursday if i actually post this video on time who knows <laughs>